Hello pilots and welcome back to another X-Wing flight video brought to you by Out of Art Gaming. As always, my name is Phil and today we've decided to jump ahead into the future and test out some Battle Over Endor ships, considering AMG have been kind enough to actually tell us exactly what they can do and give us the points. And we couldn't help ourselves, Triple Defenders is now a thing, so we thought we'd try it. So we've got myself versus a five ship scum list and joining me, probably trying to cheer on the demise of the Defenders, we have... A fan of the Ewoks from the fourth moon of Endor, James. <laughs> Hello James, welcome Ooh, back. James. It might be the fourth, I don't know how many there are. Uh, I don't know. By the way, I... Endor cool. and here are the new ships. I always get confused by that, I will just quickly sidetrack. Is the moon called Endor, or is it the forest moon... Oh, you, I think cool. both is technically correct. I think they've just gone, you know what, it's just called the same. Yeah. Okay, anyway, let's get into those oh, lists. Straight so. off the bat, what is happening with Zuckus? I know I know we haven't gone through the lists like normal, but that is presumably the Boba Fett crew? That is the Boba Fett crew. Because this is those an extended list. Yeah, where's his running That's extended, which is fine. Very cool. Okay, yeah. I just wanted to jump in on that straight away, because <laughs> that caught my eye. But you yeah. are flying the Endor ships. I am. Well, two of them. So I have triple defenders. I've got Colonel Jendon, which is Battle of Endor with no escape, push the limit, proton cannons, and computer assisted handling. Uh, Colonel Jendon and Captain Yor actually have the Chiss engineering ship ability, which we'll go through later. Uh, I also have Rex of Brath with marksmanship, fire control, heavy laser cannon, and diamond boron missiles. That's the normal Rex, but he's not Battle of Endor. And then Captain Yor, who makes this list possible by being six points with no escape, Predator, Ion Cannon, and Computer Assisted Handling. And what is Wes running? So you're up against Wes, who is running Q90 in the Razor Crest with the title, Perceptive Co pilot, and a Suppressive Gunner. We got a couple of Y Wings. We got Lima Kai with Dorsal Turret, Ion Torpedoes, and an R4 Ashmech. We've also got our Liz Hadrassian, I'm, I'm going to have a guess at the name there, with Pass and Analyzer, Dorsal Turret, R4B11. We've also got the Zuckus that we've mentioned with Predator, Fire Control System, Boba Fett Crew, Contraband, Cybernetics, and the Mist Hunter title. And then in the Mining Guild tie, we have Lapin, or Lapin, I, I, it's like French for rabbit, I think, isn't it? With Heavy Laser Cannon, and precision ion engines. I'll take so the you're word reasonably back. outnumbered. Yeah, reasonably outnumbered. I think five is probably the most I'd probably want to take. But this they are defenders. They are. They're defenders and they are very cool. Just going to quickly talk about Zuckus and Boba Fett. That is obviously an extended upgrade. We don't see it very often. Allows, Boba F uh, allows that ship to be set up last outside of range three of any opponent ships but must be at range zero of an obstacle yeah i'm so. curious to see how much of an impact that's really gonna have because what's the scenario for this game it's scramble yeah so despite so starting really off, yeah because you can't interact with obstacle uh, with objectives until turn two i don't know that it really helps with objective play that much for a lot of the scenarios at least it's quite a nice option to get in early and try and force an early engagement and get some damaging yeah, quickly on the defenders. Hasn't worked because I no, just you, you're fast enough that you can get away from it. I, I saw that coming and just booked it across the map quite quickly. So um, the new Endor versions of these pilots, oh, they yes. have no escape. So no escape is um, the. Battle of Endor, Battle of Endor talent. While you perform a primary attack, if there are more friendly ships than other enemy ships at range zero to one of the defender, you may re-roll one of your blank results. Now, I was having a conversation yeah, with a, a friend of mine last night, and we kind of feel that that actually works one on one because it says other enemy ships. So, if you, if it's you and another ship at range one with no other enemy ships there feels to me that triggers. Uh, is it Colonel Jendon? No, oh, well, uh, well. he's one of them. All right, why do we want primary attack? 
There are more friendly ships than other enemy ships. It's the word other in there that makes me think that if it's one on one, but it does still trigger, it'd have to be two, like two v one in the. Yeah, I guess if yeah, if you're the only yeah, with the way that's worded, I would agree. Yeah, because um, of the other wording in there, yes. But what I really love about these ships is, as I said, that chess engineering. So after yes, they lose execute, the they lose the free evade if they go fast, but they gain a lock. So they may form a lock action. Additionally, right, okay. So they, they swap defense for offense. Yeah, and it gets better than that. While attacking, if you are not stressed, you may spend one shield to apply the range one bonus. Now, does that mean? Obviously, yeah. it means you gain an extra attack die. Does yeah. it also shut down their defense, or is it only your attack dice? Uh, so, as far as I'm reading it, it's I would say you apply the range one bonus to yourself because it's not saying count that attack as range one. It's True, saying yeah, apply the range the one bonus. On, was it the Inquisitor? Yeah. Okay. Um, so that does mean that that works with proton cannons. So you can get a five dice proton cannon shot. Uh, yeah, it's not primary attack only, is it? It's not primary attack only. It's not making the range range one. It's just applying the bonus. So as if you're at range two to three, it then gives you that extra dice, which you wouldn't normally get with proton cannons. Okay, that's cool. Uh, I think whilst ships are still moving around doing actions, we can also talk about uh, Jindan has pushed the limit. But anyone who's played version one of X-Wing will be confused like I was when I read this because it's not the old push the limit yeah it's not the old super cool do another action counter is red so after you fully execute a red maneuver or perform a red action if you are not strained you make a one strain token to remove one stress token so when you do a red action you can take a strain instead of a stress yeah so it's that's quite good to maneuver. it's quite good to keep your dial completely free and open you um, don't need to really do a lot of red stuff, defenders, though, do they? Uh, I mean, they they've got some sharp turns that, yeah, they could be useful. In terms of actions, it's just the linked barrel roll after an evade. Yeah. So. It's still a nice little bonus to have. It, it really is. It really is a nice bonus to have. Um, and obviously, both of them as well have the computer assisted handling. So once during the game, after you fully execute a movie, you may spend one charge to form a boost or barrel. That's not red. Oh, okay, yeah. So you could do a speed three to five, get your lock, computer assisted handling to boost or barrel roll, take a focus. I think it's also interesting that it's only once per game. I, I do. Yeah. I, I agree that that's balanced because if that was coming back every round or maybe even every other round the defender would just be too good and it would be yeah, priced I, out of flying three of them i, I like that it, it's like a one use only so that it's like you've really got to decide where it's best to use it but if you get the opportunity to use it you kind of go oh you know what that's the point that is the point to use it so like those those two things on there are really nice um for both the defenders it it's nice having aggressive defenders. So, like, there's times when I'm flying this triple list and I'm doing, obviously, these aggressive, like, target locks and everything with Jenna and Yaw, and I'm just like, oh, I really wish that Rexler had Chiss Engineering at this point because the evade is nice, but a focus lock would be even nicer. I mean, it would, but that's that's what you've got, isn't it? But yeah, so you take what you've got, and, and Rexler is... Rex is great. I mean, he's an absolute beast. He's got heavy laser cannon if he wants to do a really good shot. And obviously, after you forward attack that hits, if you're evading, expose one of the defender's damage cards. So full throttle works for that and can really cause a nuisance. Uh, what are we? Oh, 
so we're, we're going to shooting actually i think soon. uh okay, we just we just got to wait for q9 and gender to fly okay so speaking of q9 the razor crest title lets you smuggle aboard a an illicit upgrade i'm gonna hazard a guess that it is probably contraband cybernetics or um what's the one that gives that jam the False transponders. False transponders. It's, it's usually one of those two. Do you know which one was used by Wes? Actually, Dead Man Switch. Oh, uh, well, okay. That's that's Wes for you, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, yeah. It, it's a fun one. Um, one thing I will point out with is this. Those of you that are familiar with the Razor Crest and Q9 will probably be aware that Q9 doesn't actually have a focus action. It has Calculate. So, unfortunately, Perceptive Copilot doesn't do anything on this ship which is a real shame oh i see yeah and we didn't realize this until about halfway through the game when he did the calculate and then went to do it went oh i don't have focus oops right okay well it's not a tournament game or anything is it no i mean this is just a funny also, game good thing to note if you're flying a droid pilot don't use suppressive gunner yeah it's, uh, it's unfortunate. In fact, both those upgrades don't do really anything. So it is, it is a shame, but you know what? That It's sometimes the way it goes. Like It's easy because it doesn't stop you from putting it I mean, on. The first route still, still a pretty tanky ship without anything. And what does Q9 do? You can barrel roll or calculate. After doing a non uh, oh, no, 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 Okay. Oh, so okay. that that includes that includes stops. I was um, going to say, does that include the stop on its dial? Okay. We did have to excuse the pub. We did have to stop and check that because we weren't one hundred percent sure. But yes, it does. And there is a computer assisted handling to get out of Lapin's forward arc and line up what could be quite a tasty shot on Lee McKay there. Nice. Got the got the um, target lock there as well. Yeah, I mean, what you don't have in numbers, you're making up for in maneuverability and the higher initiative over most of Wes's list. Yeah, I've got, I mean, if I can take up, like, once Lappin and Zuckus are down, then I have a, a serious initiative um, advantage there. Um, that's the proton cannon charges dropped. That's the shield dropped. Here comes a five dice proton cannon with a lock and that not that you really need much more I mean I'm gonna get you know greedy and that's into Lima Kai Lima. okay so that that's into a Y wing with one evade that's so, right. I mean, you, don't, you don't it's always get happen. this kind of role but yeah Gets the evade though. I mean, that's that's as good as you're gonna get. Yeah, so that's a two, three hits and a crit going into Lee Mackay. And the crit is panicked pilot. That's not ideal when Lima is already stressed. Oh yes, that's oh. And my wings are not known for clearing stress easily. What they got? They got the one forward and bank and the two forward yeah actually no but no. lima does have the r4 asterisk so a few more blues Ooh. for them yes r4 asterisk r4 asterisk is what i do like it's a nice cheap asterisk yeah, really it two points yeah two points and a free asterisk slot put it on pretty much anything yeah it, it is a is a solid asterisk to have on there um I think R4 and R3 are probably the most common astromechs I use in the game. They've got just easy to understand abilities. They're cheap. I think if either of them went up in points, they would, it would ruin a lot of ships. Um, this is a Diamond Boron missile, by the way, from Rexler into Arliz. Um Diamond Borons are awesome because you can spend another charge once it hits and any ship with an equal to or lower initiative than the defender rolls a damage dice and takes a hit or a crit. And that is a 
bit of a grouping of ships. The only problem is, because Arles is initiative four, the only one it's going to actually affect is Lapin, which is a little... I, I kind of misread this one and thought it was at Rexler's initiative, which would have been amazing, because then that would have hit um, Lima as well. But, ooh, and that's a crit onto Lapin there. So it would have hit Lima as well. But you know what? Still getting a damage on, getting a damage on two ships for one right, shot. Yeah, okay. But it's just, it, again, it was... I've never actually used Diamond Bore on missiles myself, so it's just quite nice to use something, just chuck something in there. Yeah, and I, th I think in this situation, I probably would have preferred to just fire the heavy laser cannon. Yeah, that might have been a bet. Again, I think because I went, oh, I, it can do a thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, I, I kind of misread use them. Yeah. I mean, it got structural damage on Lapin, so, I mean, that's a massive advantage. Yeah. True. Yeah, you don't need a crit. A uh, heavy laser cannon literally can't do that. So yeah, here is where things could get a bit dicey Ooh. though. Evades, all right. Okay. Yeah, yeah the uh, three 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 stat lane of. Oh, it's it is absolutely incredible. When they gave defenders the additional shield. In version two as well. Oh, yeah, they're three, 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 four, aren't they? Yeah, because they used to basically match the E wings. They came out at the same time as the E wing in version one, and then the defenders got another shield, and then the E wings got forgotten about. They got some kind of target lock thing, didn't they? They can grab it early. Oh well, yeah, they got the um, like the long range target lock, uh, experimental target lock system or something. So and they still yeah, that one. Yeah. I can't. I don't know the E wing pilots that well. There's that one guy who's like, if you're in my arc, you'll you'll get a crit. I think. Uh, Gavin Darklight. Uh, yeah. He he's a really good E wing pilot. Actually, um, I would say probably more efficient than Corin, because Corin is all about that double tap, which is good. If you, but if you get whiff it, it, yeah. If you whiff it, you've got to. Dis Disarm token next turn, so you kind of struggle. Um, so I think just going back and looking at Lima's ability there to see how that triggers, but because there's ships in a forward arc and yeah, stuff. Before you engage, if the if you are not in an enemy ship's front arc, you can require an, a lock on an enemy ship in your front arc. So yeah, just kind yeah, of got two point together. Yeah. Um, I have come out. You've, did, you've come out alright there. I mean, Zuckus being out of the fight doesn't help him. Yeah. Yeah. I think being initiative three that, yeah. is going to be tricky for Wes to land a good shot with him. Yeah. He is a medium base, so he does have a slightly wider area to to target. And he's got some surprisingly good maneuverability on that ship as well, at the expense of taking a stress. But he's also got contraband cybernetics on there, which is, again, one of the best um, elicits in the does, game. Does he have a stop? What's he got for reds? He does. Have, he has a stop, a yeah. two K turn, I believe it is. Uh, yeah, two K turn and a four K turn. Yeah. Interesting. So, yeah, looking at Zuckers, he can jam. Yes, he does have the jam action as well. That, that could be useful. Yeah. But obviously, Wes has got two objectives at the moment. So currently, when it comes to objectives, he does have a bit of an advantage. Um, I grabbed one early doors down the top of the board, but with the kind. I mean, having the free action on the defenders does mean that you still have something, so you don't feel so bad about grabbing the objective. But if you're going to get if you're going to get into nice positions like we had with Jenden, you're going to want to use like all of those actions for just crazy fun stuff, which, as we all know, is where I aim for because I'm useless when it comes to objectives because I just tend to forget them and go fly at the enemy and throw dice. <laughs> And we all want to do that, really. Yeah, that's why I like chance engagement. But that, with your and Zuckus, looks like there's going to be some big shots fired there. There's, I mean, 
if your takes no damage, I'll be impressed. Yeah. Because Marcus at range one is what, five red dice? Uh, well, he can add he can add a dice, but it does give me an additional green dice, so he can go up to five well, range that, one. You shooting back in with no escape is also five dice. Right. No, no, no escape was re rolling. Oh, right. yeah, no escape's, no escape's re rolling. So, a bit more mods versus an extra. I think the extra die is better, but yeah, you'd be rolling what? Four. Four green dice? So it's 5v4. Um, red dice are obviously better than green dice. Uh, he's got a lock, I've got a focus. Um, but you'll have four. a re roll. I'll have a you re -roll. Have rolls. You have no escape and predator. Yes. Uh, also, with Captain Yor, his ability, after you perform a primary attack that hits, you may spend one charge to perform a bonus cannon attack. Oh, okay, so I've got you ion can cannon. range one shot and then an ion cannon. Yeah. Okay. So he, he he he's also quite tasty, and that unfortunately is an Arliss on the rock. Oh, that's unfortunate. He's just clipped it. It it is the smallest margin. It's like two mil that he's landed on it by, and it was like both me and Wes just looked at it. Well, I on we honestly thought we thought he was, he was going to clear that, and then he just landed on it. On a, so yeah, one Y wing on a rock isn't great. The other Y wing is very stressed. That's also not great. Yeah. The Mining Guild tie has a lot of options, though. I would well, assume... He's already, he's already moved in. He's I3. But yeah, he can, I think he's got a lot of space to go. going to head towards your... Maybe try and get that other objective. Because he's, he's a little tie. He, that's, that's what they do, isn't it? They just go around and grab objectives. I mean, he's a little tie that can fly over obstacles. So... True, he... yeah. It's very useful. Uh, let me just check the word of that because I very rarely use I, I very rarely use the money good side. Uh, so you ignore asteroids. So any debris that's or gas asteroids. Batteries, that's okay. Asteroids. So it's still good, but not too overpowered because he's only three points. Three points, and he can equip a cannon. That's true. Yeah, he's got the heavy base cannon, hasn't he? Uh, and the and the talent as well. Oh, Barrel from Q9. Ooh, interesting. Not. Well, so I think trying good. to keep. I don't see if we can keep Jendon in a nice shot there, I think. Yeah, keep you distant. You know he's got to go reasonably fast. Okay, there you go. And I will say. Oh, we did the thing! I will say fair play to Wes. I yeah. thought that I thought the Q9 was going to go faster than that, or in the round him behind like Lima. To where he, yeah. So good, good prediction from Wes. Absolutely brilliant prediction, and I really do not want to be at range one of a Razor Crest right now. No, so, I mean, it's got no mods, but it's still range one, and you yeah. have no tokens. Also, at the moment, it kind I. I don't know if I have a shot on Lima at the moment. It's very tight on that angle. It might just clip that top side. Of now course. I was going to say, where's your stress? But no, it's, it's a defender. You're not stressed. You do have an action. I have a four. Range one, though. though. But it's white. Still still range one, but oh. it now gives me Yeah, you've now got range one shot. on Lima. And I've got my evade. Which True. is... Is going to be helpful. I've yeah. got the target lock on Lima. I've got the evade for when Q9 inevitably shoots me. Rexner clearly decided that he did not want to have any action right where those two wirings were, knowing he'd probably bump. So he's just disengaged for a little bit, which is absolutely fine because the defenders are fast enough to get back round. Disengaging from a fight is something I found I've been doing a lot more recently. Particularly with objectives, like you know what, I'm I'm really hurt with this guy. If I lose him, I lose some points. I'm going to send him out of the fight, loop him around, grab some objectives that have been sort of left out of the fight. Oh, that's a good shot on Lima. That is. Oh, Lima lives with the... one. That's that's still a lot. 
Uh, Doesn't I mean we were in a particularly good spot. These red dice have been hot. I'm not going to lie, but the green dice have actually been quite effective as well, to be honest. Like evading everything it can so far. So who goes to do next? So Q9 okay. gets to go next because Rexler has nothing but space in front of him. And he did grab a cheeky target lock whilst he had nothing to worry about. Um, oh, and nothing to mod it. That is unfortunate. disappointing. I mean, you've got the evade token, so... Yeah. Oh, okay, so it looks like we might have actually read... Uh, where's Red Suppressive Gunner wrong? He's triggering that off the calc... Uh, Oh no! No, I think they. You know it what? Works. It is how it works. It's because he's got the focus result, so he's triggering suppressive gunner off the focus result. Let me stop being silly about that. Trigger it off the focus result. Unfortunately, when you're doing it against an I six, he's already shot. I'm just going to take a deplete and not, yeah. and not really, and not. I'll take a deplete instead of suffering one damage when I'm I six. So I've already shot. Uh, I mean, what else do you do with the focus result? Yeah. At that point, may as well use it as suppressive. Absolutely. So, moving down to Lima. Lima has no shots. So we go over to Captain Yor. Right, this this is the little dog fight that we, uh, we want to see what yeah, happens. Yeah. This is the lots and lots and lots of dice fight. So, four dice. Okay. Got... Target locked. Uh, Predator first. Oh, yeah, that's true. Bend the focus. And get four. Ooh. The first evade fail. All of the shields off the Zuckers. All okay. of the shields. Good shot. And then follow up with the Ion Cannon. Flip a charge to shoot with the Ion Cannon. Again, range one. You got so... a decent chance to actually ionize him. Yeah. A really good shot here to ionize because you need two for a medium base ship. Uh, Should have rolled an additional dice there. Because re -rolls, re -rolls. Okay. Uh, so re roll him with the target lock and gets it. So, so a damage and... and two ion tokens, so he will be ionized. Nice. Yes. Which is actually really powerful. Yeah, because even if he ionizes forward, he can't claim the objective because he ha he can only focus action, he can't objective yeah. action. Yeah, he, he can only focus. Okay, that's cool. So that, that nice little double tap there, although it can only do a maximum of one damage, it is still enough to... Like on a on a single... I mean, on a it's small it's base ship. And in this case, an ion. We well, wouldn't always yeah. get the ion, but... Yeah. That's good for you that it did. Oh, that's a lot of green. Oh, it's a lot of uh, range three for a lot of green. Only yeah. two results. Uh, you get only two actual evades on there, okay. but it was enough to evade the two that came in from Lapid. Unfortunately, he didn't quite catch me in heavy laser. I mean, range so three of Shrug, I didn't really have high hopes. But yeah. here's Zucker's shooting. This is Wait, where it's going to be scary. Yeah, once he had Predator. He does have friends alive, and he's got fire control one. system as well. Does he have a lock? Uh, he does have the lock. He shouldn't have the lock, actually, because he's ionized. So the lock should actually be gone. I, I always forget about that. that happens. I thought that was only for clouds. No, when you gain ion, you break all locks. Is it gain ion, or is it do the ion move? Uh, I will quickly have a look back into the... But yeah, re-rolling for the tie lock anyway. Oh, it's not, not predator. Not incredible. Yeah. Oh, but that is two. Okay. That is two shields down. I I think the triple defenders list is good because you you play it against me and we did chance engagement yeah. and I did win that, but that's also down to half points. Being in, in my favour in, in that regard, like getting rid of all of the health on a defender is a big ask for yeah, a lot I mean, of lists. Seven health with three of eight with three green dice is a lot. 
So let's have a look. A ship that is ionized cannot acquire or maintain locks. When a ship becomes ionized, it breaks all locks it is maintaining. Okay, so you shouldn't have had that lock, but never mind. Yeah. Which There's is fine. Where, like, ion doesn't come up a whole lot, and when it does, you don't always have a lock. So the, the both of those happening is like, oh yeah, there is a rule for that. It, it's easy to forget it, but... It's also a newer rule. Yeah. But when I'm reading that, that does mean it can't acquire or maintain, but it doesn't break the locks from other people. So if you had him locked, even though he's ionized, I would, I would. Oh yeah, yeah, you would definitely. Yeah, that would that would be weird if you but, ionize right. them and you lose yeah. your own lock. Yeah. Whereas on a gas cloud, I believe that it breaks all locks regardless. Yeah, that, that's... that would make it's just disrupting just everyone's targeting yeah. systems. Oh, okay, so we've got a you know, one forward one. bump, uh, lap recovery up, probably anticipating um, you're doing the 4k, more than likely. Yeah. Oh, barrel rolling. Ooh. I guess maybe, maybe trying to stop the sharp turn? Yeah. Well, thinking your small sharp turns are red, so... Yeah, one and two are red. It so... doesn't necessarily know how fast you I think that's a good spot to be in. It does potentially give you the option to barrel roll maybe out of the arc? No, actually, yeah, no, maybe. now, no, you're all right. Oh, no, I, I would, yeah, I would, get, I, I could barrel roll down, but all I would gain out of it is Predator, but maybe I want to see if I can just take out Zuckus, given the chance. Yeah, I mean, if, if you I, can if I, I, a ship and then K turn behind and have a modded attack, great. Also, yeah. potentially, you can ion cannon again. Does yours charge come back? Yes, it does. So computer-assisted handling doesn't come back, but yours charge does come back. So that is incredibly powerful. Like I said, we... Does he come back? No, he has two charges. At least that's what I'm looking at. Yes, he does. Room. Sorry. He, he does have two charges. My bad. Again, I, I don't have to... Two, two oh, double taps in one game is pretty good. Yeah. Also, Yor is the cheapest of the defenders here. He, he is, is the reason... He's six and the other two are seven. Yeah, he is the reason we can fly trip defenders now, because he has six points. And I was postulating another list with one of my friends last night whilst we are in store. Um... Double defenders in the gauntlet. So I'm going to have to give that a go at some point. That is a lot of health. Yeah. That's that's 14 health for the defenders, 11 health for the gauntlet. I, know, I feel like with that, the opponent goes, I'm never going to kill those two defenders. I will focus down that big ship. Probably, but I, I still want to stick it on the board just because of how it all yeah. works. It'll look cool on the board, and you know what? Rule of cool sometimes wins out with me. I I never try and play meta. I just try and go, I haven't flown this ship in a while. I think it looks cool. I want to give it a go. And you know what? That's It's quite nice to have that. But it's also nice to see people fly those meta lists as well. And if you get someone flying just a random list against a meta list, it's actually better for both players because the player that's running the meta list might not have actually come up against that really random combination of shit. Right, it's that, that be... thing of like the the world's best swordsman is afraid of the world's worst swordsman because he has no idea what he's going to do. Exactly. And I may not be the world's worst X-Wing player, but I'm probably not far off. Ah, you're not that bad. But it, It's oversaturation, that's what it is. Um, but no, to be honest, it's, I like flying fun lists and what, for me, I go with what looks cool. Um, I, I was debating looking at the recent Sith Taker open and seeing what lists are on there and just being like, you know, I'll, I'll try some of those, but at the same time, that's not my playstyle. Well, I mean, even if you don't take the whole list, you can go, oh, I can't remember if I that pilot. What, yeah. what was used in that in recent tournaments on them? Like, I was looking at what was used on Poe in a few, because I like flying Poe. It's like, yeah, I, I see what you're doing, but I prefer my build. Yeah, and I looked at the the ray. I think that came second. I was like, "Oh, that's just the version I use." Great. I'm glad I'm on the same page as that. I mean, Ray and Poe. Ray especially has sort of like maybe one or two builds that are quite 
common and very there's, powerful. There's a few minor differences between them. The, the core of it yeah. is just consistency. Yeah. Which um, again, is what makes the defenders good, particularly with, with the new Chiss Engineering to get a target lock. Like a lock and a focus pretty easily on turns is just dangerous, especially on a three die ship as well. Attacking yeah. ship. To be able to double mod consistently or fairly consistently is very, very powerful. It's it's good fun. And I mean, we again, we look at the points at the moment. It's two points. Yeah, it's what I was going to say, like, like currently like you're technically losing, but it really doesn't feel like it. No, I. You've when, taken when comes, yeah. three damage across your whole list. You've nearly taken out Lima, who unfortunately is still stressed. Yeah. Zuckus is not in a great spot. Lapin has got structural damage and has taken two. Yeah. So it, there's, it, there is a lot of points up for grabs for me there, and a cheeky little one forward. Nice little gender. bang just to get the shot on Lima and probably yeah. take them out. Okay. And that that's sometimes the uh, I've said about this with the N one starfighters before. The temptation to go, oh, I get a free action if I do a speed three right, or it's higher. The thing of, like, I've got a, I've got a thing. I'll use it. Much like you previously going, oh, I've got a K turn. I'll, I'll do that. And where it goes now, I'll just sit here and wait for you to sit right in front of me. Yeah. And spending the focus because I nothing mean, is going yeah, to Lima is just done. Lima is gone. And yeah, see, I could have, I could have just gone three bank, missed Lima, and done nothing there. But I was like, you know what, actually. A one bank is going to be perfect, plus the three bank probably would have landed on the rock. And that's got you three points. Yeah. And sometimes that's that's where... I mean, we, we, we've said about this in other games as well, when you look at it and go, right, oh, so this person earned this many points through the objectives, uh, but then this person has earned this many through actually taking out the ships. And there is a massive debate as to where more points come from. Having a consistency of both I, is... I, I think there's good. enough variation in both lists and scenarios that it, it really just changes up in every situation. Yeah, I mean, if you were to look at, say, Assault the Satellite Array, having three ships, it's very rare that I'm going to outnumber... I would outnumber most lists an objective. So yeah, but you like hope that your ships are good enough at killing that you can make up for that. Exactly. Exactly. But then again, if I lose one of my ships, that's a huge amount of points. Your is six, Rexter and Jendon are seven. So take out one of those ships, and that is over two rounds worth of objectives in this game that you're scoring by taking out one ship. The it's not an easy task. The about the triple defenders is they're small bases so they can be much more maneuverable more difficult to catch because other three list uh, three ship lists tend to be like medium bases are mixed in there maybe some large bases yeah. and also like they, they don't rely on each other to do anything yeah so you can split them up like you have which means wes is spreading the damage between them all he can't really focus one down yeah and uh, talking about spreading the damage, you're decided yeah. to pivot and has taken Lapid out instead. His initiative killed Lapid, so that reduces a shot into your and scores another three points rather than continuing on in on Zuckus, who can't do anything this turn. So I think that's a good call. Cool. While Zuckus yeah. has more points, you're less likely to get the kill. Yeah. And Zuckus isn't choosing you this round, as you said, so... Yeah. And, so, and again, sometimes it can be... The temptation to go for those big points because they're big points is very, very popular. But I looked at it when Zuckus is pointing away, now, and I probably could. I mean, this this might I... be what you're debating. Your fire shot that hits... Do you spend the charge to fire the ion cannon at Zuckus? Is that can you do that? It's something we were we were talking about, and I think potentially you can, 
But it doesn't say you perform a bonus attack against that target or anything like that. So it's just yeah, another no. attack. So you could, but yeah, I don't think you need I could, but need I, to. I haven't, I haven't done it this turn because, again, I don't think I need to. And also, I wasn't... In the heat of the moment where you sometimes don't... You don't want to spend ages, like, deliberating over a card. I just went, I think I possibly could, but I don't want to right now. So you know what? Let's carry on. Also, okay. I'm... I'm having a bit of a blinder at the moment. It's going really well for me, so I don't want to be like greedy, as it were. I mean, this, yeah, this, I, I get this that. is just a, a casual Wednesday night game for us. What have we got here? This is. Uh, um, Arliss. Your. Ooh, the, hit crit into your. I mean, it's going to be. Ooh, okay. Ooh. There's another shield. That's another shield. What does Arliss do? Uh, while you perform a front arc attack, if you are damaged, you may spend, you may change your focus to a crit. While you defend, if you're damaged, before the modified dice step, you must change a focus to a blank. But currently, Arliss is not damaged because there's no damage cards on them. Right. Not um, that that would have really mattered this turn, but. Yeah, the fact that you've no. actually stripped their shields and not put a damage card on is uh, in your favour. Quite happy, indeed. Um, but whilst we're waiting for those dials to go down and initiative to be decided, just want to remind you guys, if you do like what we're doing here at South of Art Game, you can support us on Patreon. The link for that is in the description below. Uh, our top tier members can actually give us lists to fly. So if you want to see something crazy like Triple Defenders, um, sign up for our top tier and you can let us know what to fly. You also get sneak peeks of what's coming up. We're talking about Flight Academy Season 6 at the moment because we are very close to starting recording that. So you can be part of that conversation on our Patreon. Oh, that's a... Uh... We got a duplicate Zuckus and you're shooting each other? Yeah, looks like we're repeating it but just turned around like we've gone back in for the joust because again defenders are one of the few he ships in the empire to, uh, like, grab that objective. He, he has chosen to grab that objective interesting okay rude is what i think a little I mean, bit rude um, makes sense it it does to a point like now there aren't that many turns left i don't think objectives are really going to catch you up? No, but if... Oh, there's a bump from Arliss there, unfortunately. Like, if... Your is... He's taken three shields, so he's hurting a little bit. Have them all and you play defensively, you, you could overtake. I just don't think there's going to be that, like... There's going to be this turn and one other turn, probably? Maybe three turns Maybe at most. Third, you might if, get, if you're quick, yeah. You might get nine points out of that, which if I don't take anything else out I mean, I'd have to take out yeah, at least it, a it more the pressure on you. Yeah. I I think I would just be looking at Zuckus going, I've only got four health, I would rather have a focus. Yeah, there is that. Or, See if he can, or if he can potentially survive. jam your Ooh. Yes, that could have been good. Uh, but I decided that I still wanted to score some consistent points in there, so I not knowing where the Q9 was going to be, capture that bottom objective. Yeah, having the higher initiative is quite nice for this scenario, because if the opponent goes, I'm going to grab an objective, and then you come along and go, I'm going to take it back, then they yeah. wasted an action. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's... Oh, that'd be it's really good for Q9 if Jendon was still going to be there. Yeah, Jendon still does get oh, to go. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I was looking at it, and the straight would have landed on... Oh, you would have done what? Le no, what Arliss did. Arliss did okay. earlier, and I was like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Well, you got um, barrel roll. And I grabbed the target lock. I've got barrel roll. Looks like I'm going to barrel roll link that to an evade as well, because I'm most likely going to get shot in the bum by Q9, 
And if I can just avoid taking that damage, then some damage, why not? Yeah. Oh, and you do, I, do I have protons? There's a hand in the check way of from, my now. Check it from the other side. This is where I kind of wish I had a camera to do top down at this point. I mean, look, oh, if, if we had camera could... angles for everything, that would be amazing, but unrealistic. Yeah, I don't have enough. Ooh, a lot more editing to do. Yeah, because it, it would be a case if I'd had to add that in after we've done all of what we're talking about. But no proton cannon there for gendered, unfortunately, which is a bit of a shame because I do love proton cannons. Who needs proton cannons when you have that? The primary, and, okay. Well, Arliss, Arliss is uh, now damaged. Right, but... He won't be able to do it. He won't be able uh, to do the ability at range zero. Also, which way yeah. is the dorsal turret pointing? Is that to... Uh, to the right. Right, okay. Yeah, so up towards um, the top of the board. Yeah, it's not I quite going to catch Jenden, is no, it? No, it's not. So if I had, if I was in bullseye, it would have. Q9? No, mm. Rexler. Rexler. Who only gets one. Ah, oh, disappointed oh for Rexler, but you know he what? He's got the objective. Grab the objective, and he's actually had, like, again, my red dice have been really, really good this, this game. Yeah, for a Q9 with basically no upgrades, it's, it's still on the board with a lot of health. I... The Razor Crest and T seventies are like my bogey ships. I never, I I struggle to take them out for some reason. I don't know why, but I struggle to take them out. Oh, and there's deplete or damage onto Jendon. I mean, deplete's a good shout. So yeah, I mean, there's no point taking damage, and I've already shot. So and then over the to. Uh, over no, to cool. your first, yeah. See, suppressive gunner is really good on an initiative five, except when you're shooting an initiative six. Or, is it, or initiative five, so you have initiative. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, oh that. that's predator. Okay. Oh, that's two hits, two crits. That's 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 not looking good. No, that, that was a hit on the red dice, so that all goes through, Zuckus is done. Yeah, bye-bye, Zuckus. Ah, uh, Which is a shame, because I, I know I it's against me, but I like... It's not a great matchup for Zuckus, who wants something either big or something slow that... Yeah. Or something predictable, where you can go, right, you're going to be here, I'm going to sit here and shoot you with a lot of red dice, and that's just not what defenders let you do. I mean, we saw... But also, Benji. credit to Wes for like, starting off on a rock with the Boba Fett crew. Like, you don't see that anymore. No, I mean, again, Boba Fett is extended. Yeah, extended. So I mean, but even extended like in Fett. extended, people look at it and go, eh, I'll take something else, but not Wes. I used to love the Tobias Beckett Boba Fett combo. I liked the resistance like, uh, uh, solo, solo, just start off in the opponent's side of the board. Yeah, I tried that once, it did not go very well. It didn't work well for me at all either, but it was funny. Yeah, definite. Uh, and that is the turn there, so... it It's not looking good for Wes. It's not looking good for Wes, it's not impossible. He's got two ships, one of which doesn't have a lot of firepower, the other one doesn't really have any upgrades. Again, yeah. ships that. I mean, one hasn't lost any health. One's lost one shield, and one's lost three shields. Three shields, yeah. He does have yeah. the option of objectives, as you said, but I don't think it's enough. No, because at this point, like I said, we're most likely going to get two more turns, which is six points of objectives. If he, if he does, like, use Q9 to go grab that objective back, you, the following turn, can probably also grab it. Yeah. Which means he won't catch up in time. And currently Arliss is locked by everyone at the moment. Again, again Chiss Engineering 
when I first saw it, I was like, oh, I'm not sure. I, I think I'd missed that a bit. But I was like, no, actually, the aggressiveness of it is, I actually think it's brilliant. Anticipating a bank there by the look of it. Uh, ooh. And it's not a bank. Okay. Uh, Which... Now, do you rotate the gun or do you take the objective? Well, he already has the objective. Oh, sorry, he does. He sees the red player. Yeah. Okay. So, so rotate. Does he... yeah, does your he best rotate? chance of getting points is your at this point. Yeah. Absolutely. Unless he feels that he's going to be able to get a bit of a um, double in onto gender with Q9 in a bit of a pincer. I mean, I think that's going to happen anyway. Also, now that Arliss is damaged, His you must change in the forward a arc. focus to a blank. No, well, that's that's for defence. I mean, it's not in Arliss's favour. Like, when damage yeah. gets better at offence, but worse at defence. Yeah. Okay, so not rotating. So it looks like he's going to see if he can catch Jendon. Oh, it's a 2k. Showing off all of the tricks that the Earth has. Well, is just mean on top of everything else these things have. I mean, it could be worse. It could be Ryad, who basically turns, can turn all of her strength into Kater 7. She says all of the same ability, doesn't she? Yeah. Yeah, all of the defenders except for Vader are seven points. So, and you're... I mean, we're we're getting towards the end of this. What are your opinions on the Battle of Endor versions of these pilots? I absolutely love them. I thoroughly like. I, I played that game against you, um, which was a tricky one because it was four T seventies. Um, I've played them here. And I've just really enjoyed them, and I want to play around with other lists of maybe not having just like solely defenders, but just having a defender in there with other things. But so far, I love the aggressiveness of them, and I think they actually have some really solid utility. Like Captain, it, it does seem to suit your playstyle. Yeah, I mean Captain Yor is fantastic at six points. I think they might struggle a bit with salvage mission. But a lot yeah. of lists do, so that's just balanced, I think. Yeah, I mean, my my play style tends to be towards that aggressive go at the enemy sort of style, generally, and forget about the objectives. Who needs those? So, salvage can be tricky. Although, saying that, like last week's game was salvage, and I did all right in that one. So, okay, it's, Sorry, it's an interesting did, one. Did Q9 land on that rock? Yeah, Q9 landed on the rock. Oh, Wes. And Yor has just put two hits and a crit into Arliss, but he gets the evade. Hooray. I, I still have a charge. Oh. So, there's a fuel leak. But does it even matter if there's an ion cannon? Not with that ion no. cannon. Not with that ion cannon. The red dice. This is probably the evade though, so doesn't yeah. necessarily worry about our oh, ability. But yeah, that's that's done. Yeah, it's been very very tricky. Like, I I will say that the way this has played out has has looked quite. It's looked quite oppressive from the defender's side. It, it from like the very first attack onwards. The red dice have very much been in my favour, and I've been able to outmaneuver quite well. Again, I think this mission has kind of favoured me as well, because I haven't really had to care or worry about the objectives so much. Um, yeah, I suppose if if it was, um, was it Assault the Satellite Ray, where there's five objectives, there's yeah. a bit more ground to cover. Yeah, and that's two shields off of uh, Jendon there, by the way, from oh. Arliss in, in death. I mean, I know obviously the positioning would be a bit different for um, chance engagement, but you're not on half health on any of your ships. Yeah. Um, 
also, I was thinking like that we've seen a lot of like seven ship lists recently in store. And I would outnumber you even more than, than this. That a seven, if someone was to rock up with a seven ship list, I would be very scared of that because in that you're going to find that they're probably flying in groups of like two, three, or possibly four. Yes. So right. this list would really struggle against a full swarm unless I was able to somehow get in behind them really quickly. So I mean, I don't, I don't think triple defenders is ever going to be the meta. But it's. But a I think it's fun to fly. Use. It's fun to. It looks cool and it is fun to fly. And I think if we were to fly this again. I think it would go quite differently for Wes. I think he'd be more aware of that and probably probably try and stick his ships a bit closer together. To I don't think he would zuck us right up, right up front as quickly. True. But it was nice to get all three of my defenders on the table as well. Yeah, because you got the standard one, the red one, and the one with the yellow highlights. Yeah, so the standard, the one from the pack where you got the bobble with it, which I can't remember what that was called, and then the um, Sky Strike Academy version. That's the Now, I... Q9 has seven. Seeing yeah. how my dice have been, there is oh, a possibility. Do I, do I think Q9 is going to die in this final round? Yeah. Um, I mean, you've already used your double tap on the ion cannon. But I am now doing the five dice proton again. There is that, yeah. I've got no um, mods. I've got no mods. Just. But I'm outside of range ones, so no escape isn't triggering. I think you and I might just survive with like one health, unless there's some crazy crits, which there might be off of that. Yeah. Oh, one crit. If this is a hull breach, then that's awful news for Wes. Yeah, we've, we've seen that before. Stunned. Stunned okay, that, that, that's, that's okay. So I, at this point, I don't think it's going to be, it's not possible to get Q9 down. Um, outside of range one, so yeah, no escape doesn't trigger. Um, don't Q9 does get to shoot next, and Jendon only ha Jendon has no shields now and is strained. Yeah, I guess you go for Jendon. He's he's also yeah. more points. I mean, at this point, I've won because you, you I've got one objective. Yeah. But Wes could potentially take this to a 2019 game. Not like that. No. No. I mean, that would have been amazing if he'd have brought it to a 2019 if game. If had that other objective and he survived and he got that kill, then it would be... A 1920 I mean, game. Um... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So, again, that's the fragility of this list is not always being able to play the objectives and lose one ship as a third yeah, of your list now and is, a lot of points. I'm, there, there are objectives, I'll get them if I can, but I'm mostly here to kill you. Yeah. I'm here, I'm here to do damage. That's what I need to do. Um, so, yeah. But that is... Is that everyone? I think... Uh, maybe oh, no. I think we still got your to shoot. I, think so. I thought that was Rexler shooting. So obviously your needs to five. Damage. I mean, with some crazy crits, maybe. Yeah. That's about the focus. Okay, so it's not it's not going to do it, but no. But there's some good evades there from Wes. Well, so yeah. Unfortunately, they weren't there earlier, but... Yeah, true. Although, saying that, when the, when it was those big shots going in, he was evading everything he could. So... Yeah, but, actually, he was rolling okay. Yeah. And, um, I mean, that does finish it. 20 points to 12. The 12 points of objectives for Wes there. 
consistently two uh, points. Yeah, I guess that is all of Drake's points, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and I mine was. Uh, I think you guys got five, five points. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah. I think I think I think I got five points worth of objectives there. So mine was mostly through the kills, but you know what? As a to fly it occasionally, triple defenders was really good fun. Um, I don't expect them to do that well every time, but I I will say they have good Actually, fun. Actually, if you got twenty points in Q nine is six points, then Ooh. you got six objective points. Oh yeah, the term where Wes stole my objective, I stole one of his. Yeah. So yeah. But I mean, like I said, I'm really looking forward now to see to getting hold of the actual Battle of Endor pack because at the time of recording this, we still don't have it in our hands. They're just paper printouts I've got. Yeah, so and there's also a, a new Suntir card in there, and I know oh. he's a favourite of yours, so I'm sure we'll see that on the channel yeah. at some point. Definitely. And I want to try that scenario as well. I. I I enjoyed Siege of Coruscant, so I want to see how the uh, Battle of Rendor scenario works. Yeah, I've not really seen... I've not really looked at how that works at all, so that'd be interesting. I know there's turbo lasers and the Star Destroyer bridge, though I kind of have an idea of what, what the Rebels have got to try and do. Yeah, they've yeah, got turbo really lasers to fly at the bridge. Yeah. Um, but no. I thoroughly enjoy that. I want to say a big shout out to Wes um, for playing that game. I know that the defenders, he doesn't like them very much at the moment, but he was still a great person to play against and he did really well. Um, but James, thank you very much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed that game. Yeah, that was a very interesting one. I, I'm, I'm nervous about playing against these new pilots, but they seem very good. They are pretty good. Um, and yes, guys, obviously, when we get Battle Over Endor, we will try and do an unboxing video for that and get that scenario on the table as soon as possible. But in the meantime, thank you all so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please smash that like button, hit subscribe, and we will see you next time.